Welcome back. In this session, I'm going to cover a different way of creating multi-threading, and this is using operation queues. So NS operation queue with NS operations. And to start, I'm going to create something to do. So I'll create a new method here and do void do something. Very original, I know. String pointer, and we will say op name. So this will be the name of the operation that I'll do. For int i is equal to 0, while i is less than 100, plus plus i. I'll output the current count of the operation. Percent %d op name and i. And I'll put it to sleep afterwards for 50 milliseconds. Now in the view did load event, make a little space. And now I'm going to create a brand new NS operation Q. Pointer Q is equal to NS operation Q new. Now I'm going to add a couple operations here. NS invocation. NS operation is an abstract class, so you cannot create objects of that type. There's two different operations that you can create though, which are the pre-built-in ones, which are NS invocation operation and NS block operation. And if these don't do what you want, you can always create a brand new class built on the abstract class. However, these will work for what we want. Invocation operation pointer operation is equal to ns invocation operation alloc init with target. And we'll make self as the target and we'll use the selector to be do something. And as an object, I'm just going to send the name of the operation and I'm going to call this one operation one. And the next thing I have to do is add it to the queue. Queue add operation operation. And I'm going to create another one. Operation is equal to NS invocation operation alloc in it with target self and I'll add a selector which is the same function but I'm going to give it a different name. I'm going to call it operation 2 and add it to the queue as well. Add operation operation. I'll save it and run it. Let's expand this so we're seeing exactly what happened. And we're seeing that it's all run. They're interspersed, so they're running at the same time, one, two, one, two, and on. Now the other way to create NS operations is the NS block operation. And we'll create a brand new one here. Operation is equal to NS block operation, block operation with block. And for this, I'm just going to call self do something. And I'll say block operation. Close the brackets. And now I've got to add it to the queue. Add operation, operation. Save and run. And we can see block operations in there as well. And so I know that's working. Okay, so I've covered NS operation queue, NS invocation operations using uh, selectors or methods, and NS block operation using blocks. And so we can add in sections of code as well to run in the background. In the next session, I'm going to cover Grand Central Dispatch. Thanks for watching.